but this glitch is actually insane guys you guys can see that that money adds up really fast as you guys can see in my ceo garage i have an unlimited amount of deluxos and all of these deluxos can actually sell for about three million dollars so just with this ceo garage filled up to the rim with deluxos i'm going to be able to make literally a hundred million dollars from this money glitch guys Yo, what's good everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Shader Rich coming back to you guys live with a brand GTA 5 online video. And in today's video, of course, I got a really easy GTA 5 solo money glitch for you guys. It's gonna help you make a ton of money in GTA 5 online. But of course, guys, you already know the deal. Before we get right into today's video, you already know about the trillion dollar modded account giveaway. If you don't listen up, I'm giving away this modded account to a lucky subscriber. So if you guys wanna enter, make sure you drop a like on the video. Also make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel with all notifications turned on. And the final step for you guys to do is go ahead and comment what day you guys subscribed. If you subscribe today, let me know in the comment section right now you subscribe today. And let's get right into today's video. So in today's video, guys, we got a pretty simple GTA 5 online money glitch. I'm currently doing this on the PlayStation 5, but you can do this on the PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox, or the brand new Xbox. Pretty much what you guys want to do is you want to go on to online, go on to the jobs, and after that, go down to missions. After you go to Rockstar Creative Mission, then make your way over to the job called Blow Up 2. Now, this requires you to have nothing. If you guys have a bat in your inventory and $0 in your bank account, you can actually do this money glitch. So it's going to be pretty simple for you guys to do make sure you put the setting to hard difficulty so you can make more money from this glitch and also make sure you close it so nobody tries to join you now once you guys start the mission all you simply are going to do is you're going to get in your vehicle and you're going to make your way to the location on the map now before you go to the yellow dot there's going to be a place where you guys are actually going to stop so don't go straight to the yellow dot yet because you can mess this glitch up this is a fair warning anybody trying this glitch if you do not follow this glitch step by step you will not hit the glitch and you won't make any money man so just follow it along all right but listen make sure you guys park your car exactly where i am parking the car okay park it exactly where i parked it and make sure you guys get out of the vehicle and make your way into the convenience store now the car is parked there for a reason and i'm going to explain why but essentially what you guys are going to do is before you go to the yellow dot to do the mission you're going to go into the store now once you guys make it into the store you're going to notice something there's no clerk actually in the store which is good which means you hit the glitch what you then need to do is go over to the register and you literally just need to go ahead and break the register open and then you guys will see the money come out of the register now i know you guys are probably like man this seems pretty simple how else we're we supposed to do this guys this is actually not the glitch i'm going to show you guys the actual glitch right now so what you guys want to do is you want to make your way back outside and remember where you parked that vehicle you want to make sure you go all the way across over to your vehicle and as soon as you guys get to the vehicle you simply just want to turn around and run back in the store now once you guys go in the store you're going to notice something really different when you guys get in the store there's still not going to be a store clerk but you're going to notice that the registers look like they haven't even been touched which means you are going to be able to make an unlimited amount of money from doing this now there's actually more steps to this glitch so make sure you guys keep watching the video so you don't miss any of the important parts now as you guys can see i'm picking up the money from the register all you're simply going to do is make your way back outside of the store make your way over to your car again and turn around and repeat it now once you guys do this a number of times you're going to start to notice that the money is going to start to duplicate and it's going to start to basically double every time you guys go in the store so first it may start off small you may get like 28 dollars or 14 dollars the next time you go in it'll be like 50 dollars or 60 dollars then the time after you go into that it turns into 100 dollars and then it goes to 150 dollars so every time you guys are going in and out in and out in and out the money is just piling up now sometimes it is randomized you might you might just get like a lower amount as you guys can see i just got 150 and the last time i got 50 dollars but you guys may get random amounts and some of you guys may say well you know i could just run over a million npcs and just take the money from them well guys rockstar actually patched it to where if you're going to be doing that as soon as you get to a certain amount of money what's going to happen is every npc you hit either they're not going to drop any money at all or it's going to be very very little so this is actually the best method to do this the cool thing about this is you can do this an unlimited amount of times so if i'm going in this store and i'm taking the money every Every single time there's never gonna be a time where I walk away from the store and I come back and there's not gonna be any money for me to take now you guys also have to remember we are in a mission 
which means we are going to be getting that 1.5 multiplier on every dollar we make out of this mission and this is why you guys actually put it on the hard difficulty also want to let you know because we're in a mission and we haven't started the mission yet every time you destroy the register it's not calling the cops or alerting you or getting you any stars because you are in a glitched out state and it's not going to actually call any cops on you although the npcs around you may run away you guys will still basically be able to go into the store and do it over and over again without alerting any of the authorities now once you guys actually completed this like I said the best amount of time to do this I would say do this about a hundred times of course there's gonna be other missions you can do but this is for people who really just start out in GTA online most of you guys don't have the level to do the missions or the other like heists and things of that nature because you guys don't own the properties and some of you guys don't even have the friends to do that stuff with but once you guys complete this and you are done you guys have to save it now okay and the way you guys can save this is by actually failing the mission okay so I'm gonna show you guys exactly exactly how to do so most people try and complete the mission but you guys don't actually want to do that you don't need to do that now you could if you wanted to finish the mission you could do it and get like some extra money so if you guys want to do that you can but the cops will be called and if the cops are called they can basically waste you and if they waste you you will lose the money that you've been taking from the register so i don't suggest doing that like i said what you guys want to do is just blow up all the vehicles once you blow up all the vehicles you guys are good to go you can literally go get right back in your car and you're going to notice that you failed the mission and you're going to see the amount of money you've made so it shows that i destroyed the banshee which is the car you need and it shows that i actually got 1300 dollars now i know that's not a whopping amount of money but if i did that a hundred times that would have been a hundred thousand but this glitch is actually insane guys you guys can see that that money adds up really fast as you guys can see in my ceo garage i have an unlimited amount of deluxos and all of these deluxos can actually sell for about three million dollars so just with this ceo garage filled up to the rim with deluxos i'm going to be able to make literally a hundred million dollars from this money glitch guys so honestly guys take full advantage of this glitch the dollars will add up you guys will be able to go ahead and get as much money as you possibly can i know this main seem like a tedious glitch guys but once you guys start this you can actually ante up use this money to fund any of the businesses in gta online it could just be like a little startup money glitch for you just to get you started in the game that way you guys can buy things that'll actually help you get way more things in the game and you can build up your account like how i did mine you guys can see i got 42 million dollars in the bank right Twenty thousand in the pocket but guess what guys i have all of these deluxos in my actual account so because i have all these deluxos in my account I can literally sell these Luxos and literally make a hundred million dollars just from selling them, man. So it's pretty insane, guys. Like I said, if you guys want to see more GTA 5 online money glitches here on the channel, make sure you guys drop a like on today's video and subscribe notifications turned on. Also, do not forget to enter that trillion dollar moderate account giveaway. With that being said, I'm signing out.